Well, if you guys watched my last video upload, you've already been introduced to my new to me 2010 Toyota FJ Cruiser. Super excited to have the FJ Cruiser added to the fleet of vehicles. This has been a long time dream come true for me, and I am so excited for what uh, lies ahead with the FJ Cruiser. Now today I wanna talk about modifications. And if you guys were with me when I started out this whole search for the FJ Cruiser, the original plan was ideally to get a 2014 Ultimate Edition maybe a 2013 Trail Teams edition. But the more that I thought about it, those two vehicles are absolutely awesome. I love the packages, I love the colors, but they're bound to be collector's items. And I don't really feel like it would be very wise to buy one of those two packages and make a ton of modifications, not to mention that they're very expensive. And so I decided instead to get a simpler FJ Cruiser that gave me some of that flexibility to feel like I could make changes to it, personalize it to my preferences without just completely diminishing the overall value. Now with that said, I'm still a fan of the stock look on the FJ Cruiser. I still think that even a plain FJ Cruiser like this model is gonna be a long-term classic. And so I'm reluctant to make significant changes that alter the original character of the vehicle. And so the changes that I'm making will certainly alter the look, but anything that I do, I want it to be something that could also be undone. Now with that said, I wanna go over 10 different modifications that I'm considering for the FJ Cruiser. I won't drag this out. I'll try to go through them as quickly as possible. These 10 modifications are not all definites. There's definitely a few that will happen. Some of the others, I'm a little bit more on the fence. Now the first one is a definite and that is a lift kit. Uh, three reasons for doing a lift kit. First one is that you can see looking at the FJ Cruiser, it's got a pretty significant rake. Got to correct that, level out the vehicle. Second reason is I want more ground clearance for off-roading. Third reason is that lift kits look awesome. Now lift kit wouldn't look as good without a wheel and tire upgrade. As you can see, this vehicle's got a set of aftermarket wheels that the prior owner put on it. Not real crazy about the look on these. And so these will definitely get swapped out for something else that is more to my liking. Along with that, we're gonna go with at least an all-terrain tire, maybe a mud terrain tire, and definitely much larger than stock. I'm debating between 285 and 315, leaning more toward the 285 or 295 but we'll see as things progress. One of my favorite modifications that I've made to my Tacoma is my hidden winch mount. If you guys haven't seen this before, pull off the license plate and I've got a fair lead sitting right behind. Maintains the stock look on the truck, but adds that additional functionality. Likewise, I would like to maintain the stock look on the FJ Cruiser. I'm not real crazy about doing aftermarket bumpers. And so I wanna stick with the stock bumper, but adding a hidden winch that gives me that additional tool in the tool chest would be a really cool thing. Next up is exterior LED lighting upgrades. And if you guys have been around on the channel for a while, you'll know that I've made a number of upgrades to both the Tacoma and the 4Runner and highly recommend upgrading to LED lighting. Number of reasons for this. For one, super easy modification to do yourself. Install is easy for most fixtures. Likewise, very inexpensive in the larger scheme of modifications. And you're getting a huge improvement in aesthetics, getting rid of the old outdated yellowish light, replacing that with a brighter white or bluish light and huge improvement in safety and visibility because other vehicles can see you much better and LEDs are gonna light up the road far better. So that's definitely in the works for the FJ. I mentioned in my first video that I'm a little bit on the fence about the grill guard look on the FJ. Probably wouldn't have bought one myself, but since I've already got it, I'm leaning toward keeping it on the vehicle. I also don't plan on doing an aftermarket bumper. And so this is kind of a nice compromise between maintaining that stock appearance, but also adding that more rugged look. Now, a number of other FJ Cruisers out there that have these grill guards have fog lights that are mounted up top here. You can see we've got the little cutouts on both sides. Uh, generally, circular fog lights that kind of match with the headlight fixtures and does kind of give it a cool look. And so I'm considering adding those, uh, not only from an appearance standpoint, but also from a functionality standpoint in situations where visibility is limited. It would be nice to have those fog lights since there are no other fog lights on the FJ Cruiser. Along with that, maybe a hidden LED bar at some point. Next up is a rooftop tent. And I've really resisted the temptation of putting a tent on the Tacoma. I would love to have a bed rack and the tent sitting up top. The issue is that I don't wanna take away from the functionality of using the bed on the Tacoma. And so I've resisted it so far. Likewise, I'm not crazy about the look of having it up on the cab, 
I could put one on the 4Runner, but this is our primary family vehicle, and so having that additional wind noise, decreased fuel economy, isn't quite as appealing. With the FJ Cruiser, this is 100% a toy, so putting a tent up top would make perfect sense. Next up is a ladder that would mount on the driver's side of the vehicle here, going up to the roof rack. Really, in a lot of ways, completely unnecessary. I can very easily jump up on the tire here to access the top but there's just something that's so cool about having a ladder to climb up the back of your FJ. As much as I don't really need this one, I think it would look so cool and I think it's gonna happen. Now, as you can see, this FJ Cruiser came with a set of side steps. They look okay. They're again, not really a product that I would have necessarily chosen, but they're on there. They're included with the vehicle and I'm kind of inclined to just keep them, but there's definitely a piece of me that would like to swap these out for a set of sliders. And so not a real critical need at this point, but definitely a possibility down the road. Along with that, I'd like to do some additional skid plates underneath the undercarriage. Well, as you can see, we've already got a Canon air filter, but the next step would be to add a supercharger. This one is pretty low on the list in terms of likelihood due to the cost. They are very expensive, but it would be really cool to have one increased performance on the vehicle. It is a vehicle that I'm planning on keeping for a long time too. So some of these more expensive modifications that offer no value when you sell the vehicle, are worth more if you're gonna keep the vehicle long-term. So it's definitely a possibility, although not as likely as most of these others. Now, if you're a regular on the channel, you'll know that it is speaker upgrade on my 4Runner with an OEM Audio Plus setup, a great system all around, great sound characteristics. It's designed specifically for the 4Runner, so it's super easy to install, and it's fairly reasonably priced as well. They also make a system for the FJ Cruiser. Likewise, it's designed specifically for this vehicle, so installation is super easy. Again, fairly reasonably priced, and I imagine that it's probably also gonna offer a nice upgrade in terms of sound quality. Now the FJ Cruiser actually has a pretty good stock system to begin with, much better than what you get with the 4Runner. So I'm a little bit on the fence about it because the sound system is not terrible in here. But again, because this is a vehicle that I'm planning to keep for the long term, I'm a little bit more willing to spend more on some of these upgrades that are more important to me. So those are some of the modifications that I have planned for the FJ Cruiser. I am super excited to get started with this build and I hope you guys are as well. If there are other modifications that you think I'm missing that I should keep in mind, feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments below. To stay up to date on my build, be sure to subscribe. In the meantime, thanks for watching.